It's the Brewman's day after the Super Bowl. Mike Russell, Rob Hunter, how you doing? Better now. Why? Little hair of the dog after <laughs> last night. <buddy. laughs> Whereas I did the opposite. Oh I stopped drinking because of the Patriots' defensive performance. It should I, have driven me to drink. It drove me the opposite. That's how bad it was. We're here at Saddle Mountain Brewing, West Side. This is the best side. That's right. Award-winning beers get on down here. Yep. Good place. Here's what I want to talk about, though. Is why people watch the Super Bowl. People watch Super Bowl for one main reason, and that, of course, football. is to football. Games, football. By a show of hands, how many people watch the Super Bowl for football? Oh, it's because the Patriots go to so many. <laughs> <laughs> and lost this one. Hey. Hey, That's wasn't funny. Manning in some of the commercials? Those You're were funny. Thing. And they did the dirty dancing dance. And I'm, I'm laughing at Eli. I don't like Eli. <laughs> they did the, the dirty player. dance. We should try it. No. As a matter of fact, we should. He's, okay, so let's just do this. Because everybody wants to talk about their favorite yeah. of the, uh, the the ad. So what was your favorite? My favorite may have been the Eli one. The Amazon Alexa one was pretty darn funny. Dude, the best yeah. part about that, people are talking about Anthony Hopkins being in the thing, but the best part about that was Gordon Ramsay on the rowing machine. <laughs> the recipe is in the name. It's grilled cheese. You're a grilled You're 32 man. years old. I do not know how to make a grilled cheese. You're a grown cheese. man. What's yours? You go. Uh, I, I, as far as just the commercial itself, I like the uh, Doritos versus Mountain Dew. Winner. With Morgan Freeman and uh, the dude from Peter uh, Dinklage. Peter, Peter Dinklage, yeah, from uh, Game of Thrones. Doing Busta Rhymes. Yeah, that, that was the, you're right. That was the epic. Bananas winner. awesome. And by the way, that's, that's Mountain Dew redeeming themselves from the baby monkey kid, baby monkey, puppy baby monkey. Yeah. That's a redemption song right there, and they did good. They, they came did. out of the gates. They That's did. The, yeah, I'm not mad at that. Here, here's the deal. When Dodge tried to remake the, or, or recreate lightning, and recapture lightning in a bottle with yeah. um, the, so God made a farmer ad that uh, I think Chevy or GM did. Oh, with the Paul Harvey. With the Paul Harvey, yeah. but they did. Now they took Martin Luther King, the Dr. the King, and he, uh, uh, and they did the, the wonderful speech, the amazing yeah. speech yeah. by Dr. King. As and most then of at, his the, at the very end was... Dodge built for service. We're like, whoa, where did that come from? You yeah, know? and and ironically, that was a speech given anti. It was kind of an anti-capitalism speech, <laughs> and they used it to sell trucks. Yeah, it was be selfless, right? And you yeah. know, kind of like sure. help others. Exactly. No, what I loved about that, we talked about that. The message itself, the message itself was, you know, with with service, all of us are equal. Yeah. It doesn't matter what our bank accounts say. We're all serving. We're all on equal footing right there. Mm -hmm. We can all be champions. We can all be great in this capacity. And I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, you got that was a wonderful, a wonderful speech. Yeah. Here's what we, what we discovered last night in the Super Bowl. Was um, sorry, Sunday night in the Super Bowl was a change of the entire advertising game. How so? One company, one product changed the rules. And NBC and the NFL had to have been biting their nails, going, "How did we allow this to happen?" Because we're charging $5 million for, an ad, for a spot. And at the end of the ad, they said, so is every Super Bowl commercial a tight ad? And then every commercial that played subsequently, you thought, this might, is be. this might be a tight mm -hmm. ad. And then they sprinkled a couple more and it really were a tight ad. Yeah. Change the game. Where's that guy from Stranger Things on Netflix? Because he was in those commercials. They That's monopolized everyone else's ads. Genius. Change the game. Genius. That changed the advertising world right there. I love it. Yeah. Also noticed a much more optimistic tone than last year. So last year, if you remember, President Trump had just taken office and everybody was freaking out like, oh, so we don't know what's going to happen. Big me, man. But this year was all about coming together, bringing everybody together. Life is good again. And then, you know, you see the stock market dropping, everybody's freaking out. Yeah, it's just, it's America. It's correction. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. America. Yeah. Land of corrections and freaking out over everything. Here's the deal. We had a good football game. Very good football game. It turned out the way it should because no. of America. Nope. Because we're not communists. Nope. And a, a great ad batch. I think we had a solid ad batch. Yeah, I think overall yeah, good yeah. experience. Super Bowl is a good experience. Halftime show, what do you think? We have to, loved it. JT, Tim Blake. Loved, loved it. Now, everybody getting all upset about this old Prince thing? Dude, you're in Minnesota. Get over He's yourself. He's a deity in Minnesota. Yeah, get It was over a good it. move. What if he didn't pay tribute Dude. to Prince? Then you'd be mad too. People were saying, people were saying that, that it wasn't, there wasn't any big impact. Okay, so what you had was a halftime show where there was an incredibly talented young man yeah. doing incredibly talented things and entertaining a giant stadium and basically the world for 15 minutes. Not good enough. Remember this, this Chris Pratt, by the way, by Star Wars? 
Star Lord himself. Yeah, good call. And the dude from Jurassic Park. Yeah. He's killing it for Jurassic Park. He's kind he of is. a genius. Yeah, Park. I'm, I'm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he did a, I can't even say it, Michelob Ultra commercial. And what was the hashtag? Beer or something? I like, I like beer. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Because if you like beer, you're not drinking Michelob Ultra. No offense. You're just not drinking it. So we Don't are offense, starting just... a movement. Yeah, I mean, you're right. There's no offense to be taken. You, you drink Michelob Ultra, you don't like beer. So we're starting a real initiative for people that really like beer. It's called the No Fake Brews Initiative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hashtag No Fake Brews. And if you get down to the Scottsdale Civic Center on uh, the 17th yep. with the Crush Brew Festival, yep. come on out, get your tickets. Uh, we're going to be there yep. launching the initiative with a cool t-shirt that you're going to just going to blow your mind. This is going to be one of the t-shirts you're going to wear all the time. No fake brews. It's going to be there 17th yep. in Scottsdale, the Crush Brew Festival. It starts at 4 if you're VIP, 5 if you're regular. Oh, okay, nice. I didn't yeah. know that. I hope we're VIP. Well, we're going to get there early, so we're going to be, we yeah. be in there anyway. We'll crash so 4 if you're VIP, crash, 5 crush. if you're not. And we're going to drink real beers like this one right here. See that? That's this, a real beer. This is a hop snob. Yeah. The hop snob by our friends right here at Saddle Mountain Brewing. Got it. Yep. Drink local. No fake brews. Join the initiative. Join the movement. None of this nonsense of billion dollar advertisements. Forget that. Drink local. Buy local. Drink real beers. All right. We're the Brewmans. We're going to see you on the 17th. Stay tuned for more. Coming your way real soon. I feel like the quiet dude from Penn & Teller. Ah. See if you can... <laughs> I can shoot, shoot a catch it in there. No, let's not do that. All right. uh, if I was shooting, I wouldn't even. I would yeah, shoot you this wouldn't way. hit this no. restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay tuned. The Brew Man's coming at you. Mike Bustle, Rob Hunter. No fake brews, baby.